The future of transportation is electric, but that raises a big question. Where will all the power come from? Electrifying our cars and trucks is essential to tackling climate change. Transportation is the single biggest source of emissions in the United States. But moving those 270 million vehicles and counting around takes an awful lot of energy, equivalent in fact to the entire energy consumption of the state of Texas. And yet plugging them all in would actually save us a colossal amount of energy. Here's how that works. Most of our energy today comes from thermal sources. In other words, burning stuff or using nuclear reactions to turn a turbine or fire a piston. That means a lot of wasted energy. In fact, two thirds of what we think of today as energy consumption is just wasted as heat. The internal combustion engines that drive our cars are even less efficient than that. Think of it this way. For every four or five gallons of gasoline that you buy, only one of them actually turns the wheels. The rest just give your radiator and exhaust pipe something to do. Electric vehicles are much more efficient. On average, almost 80% of the power that comes from the socket actually turns the wheels of your car. So we did a thought experiment. What if we electrified all the light duty vehicles in the US by 2030? And since electric vehicles work best against climate change when they use greener energy, we also imagined closing down the rest of the country's coal plants, boosting solar and wind power, and also natural gas. The results are striking. We dropped 6 million barrels a day of oil demand, worth more than $140 billion a year at current prices. We actually reduced the amount of energy going into our electricity system because those coal plants are so inefficient too. Overall, we cut the waste in the US energy system by a colossal amount. How much? By more than the entire amount of electricity that we use today. In other words, electrifying America's vehicles actually saves us an entire grid's worth of energy. And in the process, we cut carbon emissions by almost 30%, despite a bigger population, a bigger economy, and of course, lots of cool and efficient new trucks and cars on the road. This is how we move. I'm Liam Denning of Bloomberg Opinion. For more on the future of transportation, follow us at Quick Take and Bloomberg.